A lot of people think that being prosperous means having a nice house, a lot of money in the bank, a vacation home, and perhaps a boat. However, this idea is overshadowed by the wealth of the top 1% of global citizens. These individuals control entire businesses, multi-billion dollar investment funds, Caribbean islands, and even space rockets. The average net worth of the richest 1% of the global populace has increased dramatically over the past 20 years. It is now higher than it has ever been and exceeds the net worth of the average citizen. But before we get deeper, if you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. So without further ado, let's get started. Here, have a look at some of these fundamental facts concerning the 1%'s lifestyle. The richest 1% of the population has a minimum net worth of $11.1 million. To enter the top 1%, a person would need to earn an annual average of $758,434. And according to the 2020 billionaire census, there were 2,825 billionaires in the world in 2019, up 8.5% from 2018. North America had 834 billionaires, and Europe had 847. Although North America's billionaires had higher wealth, about $3.5 trillion versus $2.5 trillion in Europe, China, Germany, and the United States topped the nations with the most billionaires. China had 342 people listed, with a combined fortune of $1.2 trillion, while Germany had 153 people listed, with a combined wealth of $477 billion. With 788 billionaires and a combined worth of $3.4 trillion, the United States took the top place. So, now that you are aware of these astounding numbers, have you ever wondered how millionaires can support themselves? The two types of millionaires are self-made millionaires and millionaires born into wealth. More than two-thirds of those with a net worth of $30 million or more are considered self-made. And no matter how they make their money, millionaires all share certain traits in common, like prioritizing savings and diversifying their investments. Studies show that the majority of today's millionaires did not come from wealthy families. According to WealthX research released in 2019, over 68% of people with a net worth of at least $30 million had made their own money. Additionally, 88% of all millionaires or those who did not inherit their wealth are self-made according to research by Fidelity Investments. The Fidelity survey found that investments, capital gains, pay, employee stock options, and profit sharing were the top sources of assets for self-made millionaires. People who have inherited wealth are more likely to credit their success to their business acumen, the value of their real estate investments, and the bequest itself. Self-made millionaires and billionaires don't always have it easy when it comes to making money. Many of them put in a lot of effort to achieve their financial success before having the wisdom and talent to manage their newly acquired wealth. So let me ask you this, what qualities do you think some of these self-made billionaires possess? And what can you learn from them for your investment approach? Please leave a comment below. Let's now examine the traits of billionaires, even though billionaires have a variety of sources of income. According to Fidelity Research, they all have the following traits in common. Number 1. They make ambitious goals for themselves and follow through with them. Billionaires, and yes, millionaires, put their ideas and aspirations into action, whether starting a business or pursuing other professional or personal goals. This desire is shared by many people who have succeeded in life without inheriting anything. Take a look at Elon Musk. Despite much discouragement from those around him, 
His fierce determination allowed him to develop reusable rockets for his SpaceX project. Number 2. Mentors Drive Them Self-made millionaires and billionaires frequently admit out loud that they are unable to know everything. They seek out individuals who are knowledgeable about the ins and outs of various forms of saving and investing to gain perspective and insight from the best minds in the industry. And for them, this typically yields very rich rewards. Number 3. They're looking for input. For a billionaire, improving oneself is a never-ending process. To better identify blind spots and ensure the success of their businesses, billionaires actively seek out criticism and comments on their concepts and business practices. Number 4. They have no fear of failure. Billionaires are aware of the important lessons failure can teach. They meticulously weigh their risks and thoroughly test each scenario, even though they would never actively seek it. In conclusion, once they commit to something, they give it all. They are conscious of the value of time and the significance of time management. They take great care when using it because of this. I want to ask you a question. How would you spend your money if you were wealthy? Let's say a millionaire with a net worth of about $30 million. I bet one of the first things most people who find a large sum of money would do is purchase a huge amount of liabilities. For example, a sizable new home, a fuel-guzzling SUV, likely made in Germany, designer clothing, etc. You see what I mean? The study found that while those who were born wealthy had more real estate investments, Self-made millionaires were more likely to add stock assets to their financial portfolios. Many millionaires think it's important to diversify their holdings. Millionaires put their money to work in a variety of places, including their primary residence, mutual funds, stocks, and retirement accounts. Millionaires invest their funds in areas where they can increase in value they stay away from investing a sizable sum of money in products that will lose value. For instance, the value of a car used for daily transportation will almost certainly decrease over time. The majority of billionaires are aware of the value of saving money before spending it. Regardless of their yearly income, the majority of billionaires invest their cash in safe investments like stocks, bonds, and other long-term assets. Pay attention if you want to be a millionaire. The Fidelity study found that when it comes to their financial future, 30% of millionaires surveyed are worried about saving money and 20% are worried about growing their fortune. The cornerstone of some fundamental strategies if you want to become a billionaire is this. To truly understand today's billionaires, you must look at not only their current viewpoint, but also their path to wealth and aspirations for the future. Number 1. Focus on growing wealth instead of looking rich. As I've already mentioned, many people who want to appear wealthy buy expensive items like big homes, flashy cars, and jewelry. Additionally, they might purchase all of this on credit which is a grave error. Although wealthy people occasionally purchase attractive items, they are aware that making long-term wealth is more important than pleasing their neighbors. Instead, invest their money in opportunities that will boost their net worth. Number 2. Use debt to your advantage. Rich people don't hesitate to incur debt but they go about it differently than about 99% of people. Instead of using credit cards to make impulsive purchases of things they cannot afford, the wealthy borrow money to increase their wealth. For instance, they could take out loans to buy rental properties as investments, which would boost their net worth as the property's value rose. Number 3. Use Tax Breaks Everyone is aware that the wealthy benefit from tax breaks. Even though they have a bad reputation for it, 
there is nothing wrong with utilizing the current framework to reduce taxes as much as possible. However, anyone can benefit from the tax code. It's not just the wealthy. Everyone should be aware of the tax advantages of selecting their investment accounts wisely, and they should invest in tax advantage accounts each year to save the most money possible. The best way to make a lot of money is, by far, to start your own business. Of course, well-known businessmen include Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, and Richard Branson. You don't need to perform at anything close to their level to generate seven figures with your company. There are many different types of businesses you can start, and entry barriers are typically low. On the other hand, online businesses enjoy enormous popularity, which makes for fierce competition. Number 4. Have Multiple Sources of Income your chances of earning seven figures increase as you create more revenue streams. Even though one source of income might be worth a million dollars, it can be risky to put all of your financial eggs in one basket. You'll need to diversify your income sources in addition to earned income, where you trade your time for money to free up time while also achieving financial independence. The most popular strategy is to generate passive income, which you can do by creating digital products for instance. You might be able to achieve your 7-figure goal with the aid of affiliate marketing, residual income, or rental property income. A good illustration is how the notable top billionaires, including Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, and Bill Gates, own numerous businesses as well as significant stakes in well-known corporate entities and social media platforms. Their businesses can generate six to seven and eight figures both monthly and annually thanks to these diverse revenue streams. Number 5. Do Million Dollar Man The entrepreneur and author Grant Cardone, who is worth over $300 million, is famous for saying that to achieve any objective, you must believe in its viability as a realistic and practicable aim. The easiest way to do this is to perform million-dollar math. Of course, these are simplified examples, but the idea is the same. Do the math to generate potential, then develop a strategy. Cardone asserts that if you can persuade 5,000 people to buy a $200 product, you'll have one million dollars. Alternatively, if 5,000 people paid you $17 a month for a year, you'd have one million dollars. Number six, became an influencer. A person with a solid reputation and the power to persuade others due to their high profile is known as an influencer, including their purchasing patterns. Thanks to the popularity of websites like Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat, and TikTok. Many influencers have made millions of dollars. Influencers can earn money through sponsorships, advertisements, and or the creation and sale of their products. Of course, not everyone with a blog or YouTube channel will be financially successful. The sky is the limit for those who are successful though. Take a look at these fascinating statistics. According to Forbes, 9-year-old Ryan Kaji earned $25.5 million in 2020, making him the highest-paid YouTube personality. With an annual salary of more than $20 million, Kaji has been at the top of the list for three years running, roughly one-third of his life. Influencer Marketing Hub estimates that the 20 highest-paid Instagram stars make between $180,000 and $700,000 for each post. As you can see from the numbers, the most successful influencers make far more than $1 million annually. You'll need a lot of luck, but it's not impossible to make 7 figures. The second highest earning YouTuber, Jimmy Donaldson aka Mr. Beast, didn't even start his channel until 2017. Earning seven figures would undoubtedly be a significant accomplishment. Undoubtedly, 
a huge number of people aspire to succeed at this level, but very few of them will be successful in doing so. But if you set big goals, adopt the right mindset, and have the patience and tenacity to stick with them, who knows what might happen? Let's say your goal is to make at least $1 million. In that case, dreaming, stepping outside of your comfort zone, and working towards your goal require a great deal of sacrifice, perseverance, and financial restraint. But it's conceivable. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell button to get updated on our latest videos. Don't forget to like this video and drop a comment. See you next time!